Good evening everybody, Shakira Ali here, your friendly community alchemist. And this evening, um, it's been a little while since I've been with you. Um, I, I've got a cold and I may sound a little stuffy, but I wanted to come to you this evening because uh, I wanted to um, talk about New Year's resolutions. Uh, what I have for you this evening are 11 surefire slam dunk steps to making New Year's resolutions that will turn your 2014 into a comeback year. It's been tough, you know, this, this, this 2013 has, has been really rough and tumble. I mean, we've had bad weather, bad politics, uh, really tough times. But if you take these 11 steps, I assure you that your 2014 will be very different very much more powerful, productive, and maybe even life-changing. Uh, if you just employ these 11 steps, I guarantee you that if you do these things, you will be a winner in 2014. And so I'm going to run through them fairly quickly. If you'll click on the link below, there is a link to the blog that will take you through these 11 steps more, more carefully, a little bit more detail. I explained there, but I wanted to just kind of run through this so that you get a sense of what is possible for you in 2014. So the first thing you do, there's a preface here. You need to sit very carefully and, and thoughtfully and ask yourself the question out loud, do I want 2014 to be different? Do I want there to be a, a change, a shift in the way that I'm doing things? You have to ask yourself this question. And if you come up with a yes, then get your pen and, take, and, and get to work here. Because th these, these 11 steps are going to help you do that. But you really have to ask yourself the question out loud and get a good answer um, before you start. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to decide on five to seven goals that you want to achieve next year in 2014. I say five to seven. You don't want fewer than five. You don't want the year to kind of drone on. You don't want it. You don't want it. Uh, you you want to set something that uh, that is going to be um, challenging um, but achievable. Um, if you do more than seven, you might set yourself up for failure. So five to seven. You know, pretty substantial things. Uh, losing 20, 30, 40, 50 pounds, 100 pounds. Uh, g getting a new job. Um, growing your your business by ha uh, by 50% or 100%. Um, moving into a, a, a new uh, client base or a new industry. Um, moving. Uh, starting a, a school. Something, you know, something substantial that, that, that uh, is, is going to challenge you for the year but that you'll be able to accomplish. Uh, number two on the list is you're going to look at the year and divide your year up into quarters. First quarter, January, February, March, second quarter, uh, April, May, June, like that. And then map out on your calendar when you want to achieve those five to seven goals, um, uh, quarter by quarter. Um, the, the third thing you're going to do, again, this is a key step. Do not skip it. This third item on the list is to write out a narrative. 500 to 1,000 words. I'm talking one to two page narrative. Be as detailed as you can about who you are going to be in this next year. And what I mean by that is, who are you going to associate with? How are you going to hold yourself? What is, what is your personality, your character going to be like? Um, uh, uh, what are the, um, the kinds of things you will do uh, what, uh, with, with, with the accomplishments that you, that, that, uh, that you uh, achieve, arrive at, um, when, you, when you get to those five to seven goals? Uh, incorporate all of that and put it in present tense and put it in a very positive thing. Don't say what you won't do. Talk about what you will do, how you will be. Um, I am prayerful. I am compassionate. I am generous. Uh, I am pro uh, um, um, uh, humorous. I, I, uh, I, I make friends easily. I associate with uh, people in this neighborhood, in that industry. I establish allies in this, in this group, in that group. Th those kinds of things. Make it positive, make it powerful, make it present tense. The fourth thing, 
get yourself an accountability partner. As a matter of fact, find somebody who you can share this video with and the, and the blog with, and the two of you go on this journey together. Uh, this is going to really support you in making sure that you keep those res uh, resolutions. You know, we, you know, people make and break new. It's almost funny the way that people make and break resolutions. But I assure you that the only people who achieve great, uh, the people who achieve great success, not the only people, but the people who achieve great success are the people who write things down what it is their life is going to look like. So, um, and and uh, and who. Um, hold themselves accountable and have uh, and others are are holding themselves accountable so get yourself an accountability partner um, number five make yourself a vision board again this is all to condition your mind recondition your thinking so that you are uh, tuned and focused on achieving those five to seven items Make a vision board that reflects your success in achieving those items. Put some pictures of yourself on that board as well. Number six, this is also very important. It's something to shift your thinking, to take away the negativity. Uh, 20 minutes of meditation and 20 minutes of visualization every day. The meditation is an opportunity for you to clear your mind so that the uh, the the information, the resources, the data, the associations that you need um, uh, be begin to um, resonate with you, with the energy that you are sending out. But you're not. Uh, but but you're 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 clearing the field more or less in this meditation process, where you empty your mind of everything. You're clearing the field creating the void for these new things to come into your life, right? And then the 20 minutes spent in visualization where you are either focusing on your vision board, you're thinking about the statements that you uh, that you write in your narrative, that time period is, sent, uh, is spent like a gestation period, as though you're planting a seed and now you're tending to that seed. You're making sure the ground is watered. You're 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 just kind of visualizing how things are going to be and how things are going to grow, and that's uh, that's that's important. Twenty minutes meditation, twenty minutes visualization every day. Make a commitment to do that. Number seven. Commit to reading thirty minutes every day of some good material, some good literature, either good business books, good philosophy. Um, maybe a religious or spiritual text, um, even really good fiction. Um, make yourself, put yourself in the habit of reading something good every day. Just like you feed your body, you have to feed your mind. And that 30 minutes will transform your life, I'm telling you. So, 30 minutes of good reading. You can read, it, you can read stuff on the internet. You don't even have to own the books. Just find um, good passages uh, online that you can read um, and better yet just you know build yourself a library uh, of good of good material um, number eight minimize 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 all the negative interactions that you have in your life don't get into arguments with people don't uh, don't um, uh, find yourself, don't get into a critique match with people. Don't uh, start, you know, how, you know, we love to dog entertainers. Don't, don't get into those kinds of conversations. You know, um, uh, don't, don't take things personally. Don't hold grudges. Um, if you, you know, if you, if you mess up with somebody, apologize. If somebody messes up with you, accept their apology. Um, you know, really try to stay on a very, very high tone and a high note. If you do, I'm telling you all of the negative energy that goes towards that other stuff will be redirected to creating the, 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 the momentum for your, your dreams, your goals, your five to seven objectives to come into being. I, 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 um, I guarantee you that this, is, that this will be the case. Number nine, and here's a fun one, create a bucket list. I mean, a lot of people have seen the, the movie with um, 
uh, with Jack Nicholson and, and Morgan Freeman where they, they, they go on this junket together because they've created this bucket list. Create yourself a bucket list. Put 20 to 30 items on that list. Things that you would love to do before you close your eyes. Do that. Put that in writing. Put it on the page next to your narrative. Okay? But, but create that list. That's number nine. Number ten, I want you to take somewhere between two and four of those items and put them on your list for next year. Maybe one a quarter, maybe once a you know once in the first half of the year, once in the second half of the year. But make those things a reward for yourself as you move closer to your goal, because you have to celebrate your success. You have to to acknowledge as you are moving towards your goal. You have to acknowledge that. You have to um, uh, show the show your gratitude to yourself, really, for for doing those things by. Um, experiencing something on your bucket list. Do that. That's number 10. And number 11, and this is a this is also an important one, is find yourself a mentor. This doesn't have to be somebody who you know personally, but, you know, somebody like Tony Robbins or Deepak Chopra or Oprah Winfrey or or, you know, it doesn't matter who it is. Somebody who uh is has done the things that you would like to do. Excuse me. <coughs> cold somebody who has done the things that you want to do find their life story and follow them like do what they do i'm i'm telling you they read every day they listen to good um the, the, to uh good conversation maybe they listen to audio tapes i'm telling you those are the kinds of things that you do uh, that that you do that will um, lead you to success, to your success. Um, so yeah, so click on the link below. Um, uh, get yourself connected to the blog so that you get more detail on on how to to put together New Year's resolutions that will make your 2014 a slam dunk year. Um, Making making New Year's resolutions uh, can be funny or it can be serious. Make yours serious. Take care. Have a great day.